Hi guys, and um, summary video for Arco install seems in order. All the desktops from ArcoLex are in there. 27 desktops you can choose with Arco install a new ISO, which is using the Arch install and using the Arch Linux ISO. You can find all that information on the Arcolix B and the B website stands for the building, build your own ISO, remove files, add files, build it and it's your thing. Same goes for the Arco install, which is here, where you get are getting a code, a lot of scripts. And in those scripts, if you click here, right, you end up in the GitHub. And in those scripts, all you need to know basically is build ISO sudo build iso so you git clone it it's somewhere on your desktop on your computer you go inside the folder you run build iso nothing's changed then and you'll get the iso that we have put online but of course with the latest kernels and all that and in here we have the the latest just one a day so tomorrow i'll put in the other one up on on this data center with four extras which or Herbsluft, um, Nix Monat, and Open Box, and I think Nimdo. Those were the last four that I've added. So now everything is there, right? So all of them are there. And what do we talk about? Well, what is all of them? So these are the guys that us are provided by Arch install. So the Arch Linux ISO contains Arch install. We just changed it a little bit so it becomes our awesome and our BSPWM. Well, we've done nothing to these guys, right? We just keep away from these guys and say, where everything is as Arch is intending it, Arch install, that is, right? But these guys are ours extra, so 10 extra tiling when I manage this open box is somewhere in the middle, but let's just call them tiling when I manage for now. And you git clone this particular code, you go inside a folder and run it, or you decide to download it from the Arcolix Arco install. And that's it, right? And um, it's time to show you what is going on. So if you build the ISO today, you'd boot up from the CD-ROM, of course. And the thing is, Everything looks the same. It's an Arch Linux installation, of course, with the latest kernel, the latest packages, since it was built five minutes ago. That's the advantage, right? You get immediately everything, uh, well, with the latest code. If there was an issue with the ISO from Arch Linux from beginning of December, there was an issue in beginning of November. But if there were, right, and it gets fixed, then you can build the ISO and you've got something working. Me personally, I have two aliases for me, which is loading my keys and launching Arch install with advanced. You can see that on the article. So that's my way of um, making sure I am on BE Latin 1. That's for me. Azerti, Belgian Azerti. Going for Sweden. I've done this a few times, so I'm getting faster and faster. There are videos where I explain everything. And this is where it is, right? So in the desktop, we see that awesome is changed. And anywhere where you see Arclix, then you know it's our code. So awesome is changed. BSPWM changed. Budgie changed. Chut WM, they don't have it. So that's new. Cinnamon changed. Cutefish, we don't care. Un unchanged. Deeping, we don't care. DK, new. The uh, tiling window manager that Arch install does not have. Dusk, the same. This is new. This is new. We don't touch enlightenment. So it stays the same. Gnome changed. Herbsloop changed. Hyperland is there, but changed. Plasma changed. Left WM is not officially on Arch install. So it is on Arco install. Change this one, Mate, the new guy, Nimdo, new guy, no, not new guy. Hopbox is there by default, but we've changed it. Qtile changed it, Sway changed it, Wayfire is new. XFCE4 was there, changed, Xmonad is new. 
and Cosmic Epoch is, was there, changed it, i3 changed it. So that's the overview. Those are the choices we can make. So let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right. I counted correctly. So 27 desktops to choose from. Any of them is fine. I'd like to see Openbox or Nimdo maybe. Just on Openbox on Real Metal. So let's take Nimdo. Think about graphics drivers, certainly if you're on Nvidia, certainly if you're going to choose something Wayland. All right. Always an issue, always a problem. Certainly not on VirtualBox. Don't use the VirtualBox for will and stuff. So choose wisely in here. So Nimdo it is. Audio, Pulse Audio, Network Configuration, Parallel Downloads, 30, and the time zone, whatever, because five minutes later, I'll be reinstalling something, right? So skip the bits pieces that are not essential if you're testing. Let's um, wait for this and stop the video here. The point has been made, right? 27 desktops that you can use with the ISO that I'll um, put tomorrow online, since there is already one for today and one is enough. So I'll build tomorrow morning one and put it there. As you know, you can build it now, right? Shall I go to the motions? It's not that difficult. But let's go through the motions. We have to wait anyway. So on the desktop, I have something there. Open terminal, Control Shift V. There it is. You have this thing, Arco install. And if you forget, right? If you forget, and you type build ISO, it says please use sudo. So you go back and you say build ISO. And off it goes, building your thing. It's going to remove everything that's in the temp since I've already built something and off it goes. End result is going to be in computer, file system, temporary file, arch life, a out folder will come in here and the ISO is going to look like this one, right? Arch Lex 2024 and then a month and, and day. And it will get well overwritten as you see, it's not called Arclex. It is Arch, right? It is really the Arch Relang, the Arch ISO, the Relang, if you know what I'm talking about, right? It's an application. We're using that. So, yeah, it's definitely Arch. As you can see in the build ISO at the bottom, we use the Make Arch ISO. All right, that's it for me. Um, main, my main message has been given. Uh, in the meantime, He's trying to install everything, of course. My CPU, my pure CPU, poor CPU, not pure, but poor CPU. Uh, it's okay, it's not that hard, not that hot yet. But yeah, it has to work now. And record everything, then make an ISO, and even install here. So yeah, he's busy. Let's pause and see if we can up with, um, well, the nimdo that we've chosen all right pausing and voila we can continue no we say reboot we say and probably you recognize all the yeah the choices and the look and the messages that we see welcome to arch links it says i'm not going to change that why would i all right And then we are, that's the choice we make, default choice to SDM. You can choose to change it. And there we are. We have the possibility to do things. All right. And maybe I should include this in another video like this. The more people know, the better. So inside virtual machines, you can do something virtual guests and don't use the Nox. I just tested a few minutes ago. Nox is no good, right? 
virtual box i always forget to just don't type it right just tap <laughs> so gas utils nox is no good i tell you again pacman is a simple guy but it needs databases it needs to know where are the packages so a y or a yes behind there and there you go is it done oh it's already done and then sudo systemctl enable minus minus or dash dash now that's not the dash i suppose anyway minus minus now and then vb and then tap vb for virtual box boom right nice alt n give me a next wallpaper but now it's broken variety is here beautiful variety and each time when i make videos people say eric all these beautiful wallpapers right this is how i do it let's do something else last time i did it crowd which is great if you don't know what it is humor top level humor so have a look at uh, youtube it crowd and then um i've done nature how about fishing one of our guys is into fishing so what do we get if we see if we type fishing so it's a tag and from that tag comes this <laughs> a pixel guy okay anything else all right uh this is this is a well-known picture or wallpaper no not that one but this is nice too oh there it was there it was this is a nice one dreamy dreamy anyway right point is we're getting hit there there are 27 desktops to choose from now it's still fine-tuning testing this testing that please report on our channel on discord and say eric what uh, this is, doesn't work that doesn't work because it is choosing which lego blocks from article Linux ecosystem to choose and put inside the list that's basically it it's a list of packages confis and if i messed something or messed something up or missed something you tell me all right have fun learning about arch learning about linux cheers